I've been asked by so many college students, does my GPA actually matter? And I really think it depends on your situation. In my personal experience, my GPA never hindered me, and a lot of the college students and new grads that I've spoken with have also said the same. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the most important reasons why your college GPA would matter so that you can make that determination for yourself. Hi, my name is Ethan, and this is the number one channel for college students and new grads seeking to excel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number one, internships. If you're a freshman or a sophomore, you probably don't have to worry about this as much, Maybe you're not even thinking about interning, but if you were, a high GPA is definitely a way to differentiate yourself amongst the crowd of applicants. So what I'd recommend is in your first year of college or in the beginning of your sophomore year, really focus on taking some easy classes. So classes which are required for you to graduate, but aren't necessarily the most difficult classes in your college career. However, you want to end sophomore year on a relatively higher note because when are students recruiting? That's right, in the beginning of the fall semester of your junior year. And so your GPA as of that time will be everything up to the end of your sophomore year. It will not account for the grades you get in your junior year. This is why it's so important to work on building towards having a strong GPA, especially by the end of sophomore year. So that leads me into my next point. The most crucial internship, in my opinion, is the internship that you have before you begin your senior year. If you perform well in your internship, there's a very high chance that the company will extend a full-time offer to you. So you won't have to worry about recruiting during senior year. It is such a relief to go into senior year knowing that you have a job after you graduate. I cannot tell you how relaxed I was when I knew that I had an offer with Workday waiting for me as soon as I graduated from college. So now that we've established why this internship is so important, another reason why you want to make sure that your GPA is high, especially for this internship, is because many of these internships actually have a cutoff GPA. Some internships may say, that they require a cumulative GPA of a 3.0 or higher. Some may say they require a 3.5 or higher. Whatever the case may be, it is very common for companies to have a bar so that they limit the number of students who are applying for that internship. And I also want to point out, even if they say a cumulative GPA of a 3.0 or higher is required, just know that you want to make sure you are well above that number, especially if it's a prestigious company, because you're going to be competing with every other student who also has that GPA. So if you're going to have, let's say, a 3.1, then you have to make sure you're going to have some other factors in your application that will make you stand out. But just know that GPA is a very important indicator of your performance in college. So the point to be taken away from this is that your GPA is very important because of your internship opportunities. Point number two, jobs. Students also ask me, will my employer ask for my GPA when I'm applying for my first job out of college? And the answer is, it depends. And the reason I say that is because it depends on your industry and sometimes on the company itself. Now, I work for Workday, which is in the tech industry. Workday had never asked me for my GPA when I was an intern. They never asked me for my GPA when I graduated from college. They asked me for my transcript to make sure I actually graduated, but that's a different story. I could have graduated with a 2.0, and I'd still have a job at Workday. I have a friend who graduated from USC with a 2.7 GPA, and his first job out of college was at Amazon, and he makes well over $100,000 every single year. So this is another example of when your GPA probably does not matter, even in your first job out of college. When would it matter? Well, just as how I mentioned how some internships require you to have a certain GPA, it is also an unspoken rule in some industries that you need to have a certain GPA or higher. One example of this would be the top consulting firms, McKinsey, Bain, BCG. Now, there may be those one-off cases where someone had a lackluster GPA but had an incredible profile, and those people got jobs at the MBB. But more likely than not, you're going to need to have a GPA of a 3.7 or higher if you're going to be competing for jobs within those firms. Investment banking is another example of where they would require a high GPA. Now, regardless of the industry you're in, regardless of what your first job was, it is very rare for companies to ask for your GPA after your first job, provided you've stayed in that job for at least two years. Point number three, grad school. If you're going to be applying to business school for an MBA or are going to be a doctor, a dentist, or a lawyer, it is very important that you maintain a high GPA. I can speak to MBA applications where your GPA is one factor among many which will determine whether or not you are accepted to a certain business school. So definitely think about whether or not you plan on doing grad school in the future. So the point to be taken here is GPA is a very important factor, but it is not the only factor. And talk to people who are also doctors or lawyers or whatever it is you're trying to pursue and try to get a feel for how important GPA is so that you can make that decision for yourself. So that's it guys for this video. I really hope you learned something. Please let me know in the comment section below what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. And also let me know if you have any feedback or thoughts on this video, points that I probably should elaborate on or questions you may have. And also feel free to email me or connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm happy to help you in whatever way I can. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.